Hello and welcome. My name is Linda Fippen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. I hope you've had a good Christmas, good break, and Happy New Year to everyone. I have some cards from our brand new um, mini catalog and I have had so much fun and I really want to share with you some great ideas I've been working with, so let's get started. Lighting the way. Now you may not know when you look at this really quickly that it would have much to do with light, except these little fireflies are pretty awesome. But the die set has these amazing little lanterns. I didn't use the sparkly lantern because I kind of wondered if it maybe looked too much like Christmas, but it certainly does look sparkly. So I went with just a, a totally black lantern. And this is the card that I came up with. And thanks for lighting the way. Isn't that a nice card? I, a nice sentiment. Um, and it is really easy. The, uh, you can do three little bugs at a time because um, there are three dies. So that is awesome. And then this little, this larger um, firefly has these three pieces that you just cut out and put together. So there's the wings and his little body. I used some DSP that already has some beautiful artwork. I wish that I could make something look this nice. But we are going to attempt in the second card to do a little bit of watercoloring ourselves. So this has um, beautiful colors on the other side as well. But I wanted to kind of give the feeling like it's getting dark out and our little fire fireflies and our lantern are going to uh, light the way for us. Just a little bit of glue to put these pieces together. Now I have included the sizes in the description below, so uh, feel free to take a look. And on this card, I put dimensions on the back of the lantern, but I think this time I will put the dimensions on the back of our circle is our light. Now we'll see how this turns out. But of course you can put it anywhere you want. Let me just move this on the side as well. Okay. Now, this firefly, which is the bigger one, is um, his little light up body is in the back. And I've used some vellum for his second set of wings. So you just put it together like that. And you just give it a second to dry. Okay, these little guys I left all black and I used a black dimension on the back so you can see me just taking the, the, cover, the uh, layer off there and I like to have uh, odd numbers so we'll have three little guys, well two little guys and one big guy, how's that? Now, um, okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now don't forget, sometimes a little, a little persuasion to 
to stick up and be a little dim more dimension, dimensional. And here I put a little bit of blue tot on that. Probably should have done it on the wings as well. Okay. There we go. There he goes. When it gets a little drier, we can put those on. Oh, just a second though. I didn't, I almost forgot we have a sentiment to put up there. <laughs> okay, where's my sentiment? Here's the sentiment. Thanks for lighting the way. And then I took the Wink of Stella that is a, um, a sparkly pen. I just went over the little bugs. I don't know if you can, yeah, there you go, a little bit of a sparkly looking thing. And on the black, of course, it looks. So now, do you think it would have been too sparkly to have that on there? I don't know. It looks pretty sparkly. It looks pretty awesome. Um, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I just kind of thought maybe it'll be too much. Then, of course, we'll just put some sparkles. And in my imagination, they're like little stars coming out. Okay, and these are just basic rhinestones, and they have three different sizes, large, medium, and small. So I should put a big one right there, and then I'm going to put one up here, and probably one down here. I always find these... Extra embellishments really make it look sharp. So here, I'm going to stick that on there. You decide if you like the sparkle. Actually, it might have been okay. And there we have our first card. Very quick, very simple and easy, but it it is um it just has a very special message. Thanks for lighting the way. Now for this card, it is a fun fold card, and I did a circle so that it kind of goes on to itself, and it, it was fun. I enjoyed doing that. So let me show you how I did this, and I love the way in the watercolor that it looks like there's clouds in the sky, and I wish I could say that I intentionally put those there, but... Let's see what happens when we do this card. So we have, oops, okay. At the same time, we're going to do the outside and the inside of the card. And I used, um, it's like a post-it note, but it's on the, uh, like it's on the whole part, you know how sometimes it just has a little bit there. So I'm just going to straighten out those edges. And this will just, for the inside of the card, go in the center. Just so that you can have some white space to write your sentiment. Now the next thing I'm going to do is we'll do the grass first and it is just a re-inker and it's soft succulent. I have just a little dot and I just spray a little bit of water and I have a brush. I don't even know if I have the right kind of brush 
but you know it's okay so we better put the grass on the bottom and this is going to be the inside of the card so if you find you need more water just spritz it a little bit more and if it's not the color that you want then you add a little bit more i think i want it's a little too dark on that one side but that's okay so I'm going to go on this one and finish that off. I'm just going to here see if I can. Anyway, you can always fix it up. You'll see what I do. Okay, so that is the grass. Looks, looks a little dark, but it's not as dark as it looks. So just let me get a baby wipe here and wipe off my little um, block there. And then we're going to do the sky. that, our ink, a little spray, and I think what I did this time here, I didn't um, kind of go off to the side a little bit too much on there, so let's try and be a little, because watercolor, it's nice if you don't get too much color on. Now, for those who are very artistic, you could definitely do amazing things with this. But this is um, this is my watercolor interpretation. And any white spot that I miss is clouds. So, okay, so we got that done. I just want to give it a little second to dry. I'll set that aside. Okay. Um, let's add, I'm going to leave this here. It's like a mask. So these... This is soft succulent, and we're going to put some greenery on our, our paper. And I'm going to put the paper underneath here so that when I go over, it won't be so messy. Okay. So I put uh, those leaves on this side. Now this is the front of our card. So they don't have to look exactly the same. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Then I have some more greenery with Evening Evergreen. Now this is a funny looking leafy thing because it's got these huge leaves and then these tiny little ones. So um, it's greenery, so it doesn't matter how you do it, but I just use the longer leaves. And, okay. Now this is another leaf that is uh, garden green. I feel like um, Bob Ross with my beautiful creation. It doesn't look like much until they're all finished. And then you're just amazed at how beautiful it is. Okay, so 
so far we're looking the same on both, but I'll show you how I make it a little bit different. There's this little leaf, so I put uh, just add a few more little leaves on the on the front, not on the back. One on the front, and then there's these interesting looking flowers. So because we have the stems already, we can pretty much put our flowers. Anywhere we wish. Okay, so there's one flower. And that is, um, what color did I use? Gorgeous grape. And this is melon mango. And I did a couple of smaller flowers on here. Another one, because we had a little whoopsie. <laughs> now we've got the flowers, and I'm not putting flowers on the inside of the card, but we are going to add some of our little critters. So this is the big one. And I'm just using um, Early Espresso. So we have one there. And we'll put one down here. So there's the bigger one. Some smaller ones, and I used a lighter color, soft something for those. Now, this is really interesting. I wasn't sure at first how it, like it's a whole bunch of um, bugs flying around. So I used it the wrong way the first time because I guess the further away, they should be smaller. So this one, <laughs> I'll get it right this time. So we'll put it on the big one. And it's very forgiving. I mean, it doesn't matter where you put them. And if you want the smaller ones behind the little guy, you just go right ahead. Okay, so let me do the front. Okay, there we are. So as we take away our, our um, mask, we have some nice clear white that you can use to, uh, to um, write your sentiment or write something that you wish to. Okay, now, I did a, um, a, uh, I found it. Oh, 
like a pattern for this card. So I cheated and I folded eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then I folded it in half to make sure that I had it so it would line up. So it's two and one eighth. And one and one seven eighth are the layers. So let me see. You know, you get all of this stuff together. And I think I have it. And I don't always have it. Okay, so this one here we would cut in half, which I did already. And we're going to layer it. So this one is one and seven eighths. It's a little tricky because I wanted one eighth of the evening or the um, early espresso just to give it a little frame. And what it does is it picks up, just makes a nice little frame around it. Okay, so this is. card that goes this way. There we go. Because I put the flower there. And that's the inside of the card. So I have scored it at two and one eighth at both ends. And we'll just give it a little extra encouragement to stay folded. Okay, let me just do another one. There we go. So all we need to do now is to glue this in place. So we've got one on this side. The glue is nice when you're working with um, layers because it allows you to move it around a little bit if you need to. Ah! It's probably why my fingers get all full of glue. Okay, there we go. Now, um, this circle, this little uh, circle that we're going to use, is two dies together. Now, you do get a, a circle on the inside, which, of course, you can use another time. But when you put them both together, it will cut out a little frame for you. So I wanted to use that. We only want to glue half of it. And we want to kind of go in the same way. I think I've got it centered. And then this. You're only going to put your your uh, dimensionals on one side because that will close it. Line it up. There we go. So when you open it, it's like a lock and key. You just need to add this here for the inside of our card. And look at that. And it really, I kid you not, that looks like clouds to me. There it is. And that is our card. So um, they're really quick to do once you do the prep work. So I hope you've enjoyed them. Again, I want to say Happy New Year. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for your kind comments and your, your subscriptions and Happy New Year and we will 
See you next week. Bye for now.